Well, good afternoon, coasters. Now we're uh, we're moving into the 16th edition of the Coasters Weekly. First uh, of October, 2020, and it kicks off at uh, 5 p.m. Now the breaking news in the Coasters Weekly is the story in relation to Seddon House restoration, which has been approved. It is fantastic news for heritage, for Hokitika and for the Department of Conservation who become the head tenant. It's just brilliant news. And there's been a lot of people involved, including a number of government ministers. So there's a few videos there for you to consider. And then um, we move on to the Buller Marathon. And it's coming up on the 13th of February. You should be booking your accommodation now. We have a chat to a few of the locals that we talked to last year and the year before. Westfleet. What do you know about Westfleet? Huge employer in Greymouth and it's a primary industry and so it's the industry that actually provides the jobs for supermarkets and for all of those um, people who are employed in follow through industries. We talk about the Greens announcement to ban um, bottom trawling. So we get Judith Collins and, uh, and Craig Boot who's the managing director of Westfleet just to just explain how that will kill the process, fish processing industry on the coast. Really interesting, I had no idea. Uh, we join the opening of the new $121 million uh, Tinika Hospital. We look at the Hokitika Primary School kids singing there. And we note that Porky's Takeaways made national news on both channels. That's really rare. As uh, the white bait patties made New Zealand, you know, it's fantastic. Hey, this week's artists, one's a Nelson busker that I filmed. He's fantastic. I've got no idea who he is. I'd love to know. He sounds like someone I've heard before. What do you think? And then we have Mark Raffles. And, and Mark uh, is well known on the coast. This week's poem is about uh, the farewelling of our fathers. Any of us who have lost a father will relate completely to it. Right, we talk with uh, Mark Williams about the Ashley Hotel in, uh, in Greymouth, uh, along with Andy Thompson, who's one of the organisers of AgFest 2020, which is now fully sold out. And so the, the question now is, hey, all those people from Canterbury and Nelson, where are you going to sleep? Have a listen. This, this bed's around, you've just got to look. Now this week's, uh, uh, this week's Coasters Pass is the Rainforest Retreat in Franz Joseph. They've got a special deal on and it's brilliant. You get, to, you get to fly in a helicopter as well. So all the details are there. You book direct, you don't do it through us. Then we move on to Aratuna Freight and uh, one of our largest uh, trucking companies. And they're still looking for Class 5 drivers and mechanics. Give Andrew Havel a ring if you'd like to come to the coast and work for a really good company. Now our coast uh, characters this week, Merv Grewer. Now Merv lives on the other side of the hill uh, these days and, and I've no doubt that he'll be involved in either cycling or the fishing uh, or the uh, swimming club over there because that's what he's like. He's getting on, but boy gee you can't tell it. And then we talk to uh, Dulcie McNabb. Uh, Dulcie's from Karamea. She, her, her knowledge of the history in the Karamea area is unparalleled. She's amazing. Have a listen. And then this week, the chat by the fire is with Shona McLean. Now Shona was, or is part of the Davidson family. And the Davidson family established Davidson's foundry. They built locomotives. They built steam haulers. They were instrumental in providing the heavy machinery that actually formed part of our coast and actually part of a lot of areas in the South Island. An amazing family. Great to catch up with you, Shona. Well, there we are, folks. Um, hey, Coasters Weekly, number 16. Catch you later.